happy 2019. I am excited to be trying Anthony's um, 31 Days of Tarot for the year. This is definitely my first YouTube challenge, as you will see, and also um, the first time I've participated in a witchy or pagan or tarot challenge. Um, so I'm excited to see what may come of that. Um, in all honesty, today is New Year's Day, and it has been a tough day for me. Um, it's been rainy and gloomy for about 10 days now, um, and it's really getting to my mind, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I missed what little sort of gloomy light there was, and it's now after sunset, and I'm getting to sit down for this. So, um, because of that, um, I did decide to go with my Shadowscape deck. I know that one of the questions later is about, um, sassy decks and whatnot. Um, this is my first ever tarot deck. Um, i shuffle real quick. <laughs> Bad shuffle of that. Um, and that's just sort of comforting for today when things don't feel quite right. Um, I'm kind of disappointed about it, actually. I, um, celebrated my new year at Sawen, like I said, and, you know, the, the past few weeks leading up to 2019, I've been super excited and looking forward to diving into some of my tasks for the year. But today... Um, yeah, it, it, it's definitely been a struggle for motivation today. <clears throat> so, here we go. I'm going to do the two card spread, the major energy for 2019, um, and the lesson learning in 2019. This is my first time ever doing a spread on camera. Um, I've only ever read for myself and for, um, my sister before, so I have no idea, um, how this is gonna come across or anything. Um, so yeah, um, the energy of 2019 and the major lesson. It's kind of sorts first. <laughs> <sighs> so I don't know if you are familiar with this deck. Do I have it? So you can see some of it over here. It's just a glorious deck. Um, being caught up with all of those. Um, you can see the, the birds are breaking through and tearing holes in her reality even. Um, so that is energy. Major lesson is justice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is yep, something else to say about justice in a minute. Interesting. I love that she has that like third eye going on there with her skill as well. All the butterflies. Hmm. Um, so what I'm actually going to do um I suppose everyone is doing this a bit differently. I am still pretty new to tarot and um, learning a lot. So even though this is my first deck, um, surprise, in the past year, I've um, been trying to learn through the um, Smith Waite Centennial, just because of the symbolism in the deck, it really, the, the sort of images to learn from, um, seemed like a great way to help the meaning stick in my mind, so that I could then appreciate some of the differences between, um, other decks, um, from the Smith Waite. So what I'm doing, as you saw, I just pulled the Smith Waite for Ten of Swords, and now I am looking for justice. Where'd you go, girl? <laughs> Go 
course she's going to hide now, isn't she? She was the third from the top. Oh my goodness. Okay. So some major differences I notice right away with um, the Ten of Swords here. Um, I'm just looking at them both upright to try to compare there. We have the person prone, sort of pinned to the ground, and then it's almost like uh, she's suspended from the air instead there. Now, from what I feel like I've learned about these cards, this one in particular, especially seeing in reversed be an energy of rest. Um, right now, I'm not interested in that. I don't want to rest. I want to go accomplish things. Even though, as I just described today, um, feeling pretty disheartened with trying to accomplish things. So, I definitely need to mull on this some. Um, the lesson over here with justice. You can see Justice <clears throat> in the um, Smith weight over here. She has a sword. Here we have a feather. Here she's seated, and here she's. Oh my goodness, that was so out of shot. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> here she's standing and balancing. I like. I l Personally, whenever I am deciding something and weighing options, I do often tend to take the more like seated, reclining, sit back, watch, observe. Um, and the difference here of her being out in it and balancing, I think is probably going to be a, a good lesson for me this year. Um, seeing what's out of balance and being prepared to take action to balance it, um, with sword or feather, um, yeah, I, I think that that's gonna be a good energy for the year, um, but as I said, I would say more about it, because last night I did a year ahead spread, and Justice was my card for January, um, so I just thought that was really interesting that I immediately drew um, Justice for the lesson of the year when she's also my card for January. I am excited to put this in my bullet journal. I generally do these major spreads elsewhere, but I'm, I'm, I'm going into other prompts, aren't I? <laughs> oh well, anyway, so I thought that was neat that Justice was... Um, my card for January and also my lesson for the year and that seems right to me. Um, learning to see, um, to look and then also see with my, my third eye um, at what is out of balance, being prepared to take action to fix it and likely that's going to involve needing to rest. <laughs> And I'm laughing because this is so me. I um, was working on my New Year's plans and um, it required counting back how many days I was sick last year um, to kind of budget for those days in 2019. And I was getting really frustrated having to look at that and started looking back at my journal to see what was going on around the time I got sick and over and over it was, I'm exhausted, just need to push through a few more days and then um, or, you know, fell asleep during my lunch break and didn't eat. Um, <laughs> and then there's like three days of being too sick to get out of bed. Okay, also I just cut away to check some notes real quick and saw um, the Ten of Swords as being a call to face your fears as well. 
also for me related to rest um but yeah i do think hmm. you know i chose this deck thinking oh yeah it's, it's gonna be a gentle deck with me but let's just go ahead and answer that part of the tarot question this deck is not as gentle <laughs> I always think of it as being this deck is um let's just say that with other decks I feel like oh yeah this is getting good and deep but this one's like all right here's the stuff you haven't been dealing with let's look at it um so shadowscapes man good deck good deck okay back to the rest of the recording. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. Um, I feel super rambly doing this and not having a structure of a journal to set up. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me and I look forward to learning with the rest of you during this month. Be well.